Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my precious pack, and welcome back once more to Vega Conflict. Concept idea day. The idea this time around is a diplomacy module. And what a diplomacy module will do in-game, in my eyes, it will allow you to interact further with the NPCs, or the factions, of the game. Currently, I have three factions chosen for this idea. Altarian, Pharmacon, and Umbra. And the reason I've chosen them is because they're the top factions, and I can see them being a... More or less, you choose which one you want to support, and they will support you in turn with the more reputation you gain. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at what I have in mind. You will be able to produce and gain access to the, the Diplomacy module when your bridge is level 7, and you will gain additional levels to the Diplomacy module when your bridge is level 8. The reason I've decided that is because it's going to represent higher tier factions to begin with. Now, exactly what would this entail? Well, it's actually interesting because this little diplomacy module, the description I have for it right now is Welcome, Commander. May I set up a may I bleh, may I get you in touch with a faction representative? And that would be an Altarian, a Pharmacon, or an Umbra, depending on which one you decide to talk with. From there, you'd gain access to the reputation. Now, upon choosing a faction, you'll be locked in with them for a set duration. I haven't decided yet. But what you will do is you will target their enemy. So, if you choose Altarians, you will fight the Pharmacon to gain reputation. And these are not specific fleets or anything. It's just any of the fleets, and they'll give you a certain amount of reputation. Now, the reputation is used in a store a trade-in store that is actually only accessible through the diplomacy module and it is locked into tiers. The higher your reputation, the higher the tier. Up to tier 10. Now each of these tiers will have different items. Some of the suggestions that I have currently are reusable items, credit items, pre-built ships, not pre-fitted, mark upgrades, unique tech that you can only acquire from the faction's assistant system and things like that. And I'll explain that further in just a moment. But the other thing about the reputation is, upon choosing a faction, they will begin to support you in combat, and at the start of combat, along with what you would normally have, three additional random ships will be spawned with you in combat and they will be representatives of their factions. So if you choose Altarians, three random Altarian ships will spawn with you in combat. And their power level will be very, very, very heavily influenced by your reputation level. And at max, at level 8, 9, and 10, respectively, you will gain access to a 60% chance to spawn a Mark 1, Mark 2, or Mark 3 of their faction-specific Dreadnought. And this is to allow them to have a stronger impact in combat than just being spawned. Because most of the time we are outnumbered by NPC targets, and every now and then it might be appropriate for an additional Dreadnought to be spawned with you of a lower Mark level, in c such as when we use an Elite Behemoth or an Elite Segfault, or the upcoming Elite Orator, things like that. Well, not Elite, we'll only be able to get the Mark I. But the idea is similar to what I listed in the concept idea before with drones. Well, not drones precisely, but robots controlled by Sybil from your base. You know, they spawn in, they would support you, and it was a different concept idea. This one is actually the faction representatives, and it is correlated to, again, the reputation system. Now, how does the reputation system work? Well, you hit a certain target, and the certain target will give you a certain reputation payout. That payout will be added to a maximum value, and you'll unlock the tiers 1 through 10 as you slowly progress. However, that faction reputation limit is exactly that. It's a limit. You cannot go above a certain amount of reputation, but to be able to buy anything from the store, you have to spend the reputation points and it'll be lowered back down, and you can purchase more, and you can grind out more reputation. However, this means that you do not have access to the maximum power fleets. You do not have chances to spawn dreadnoughts and things like that to support you, because you're going to be spending the reputation to buy tech. 
ships and other things. And it'll be interesting because the ideas I have actually involve quite a few different things revolving around this one system. And what was brought up was actually brought up by Toxic Bait because I actually opened up this idea at the beginning of this week. And the reason I did was because I wanted to get feedback. And some of the feedback that was brought up involves PvP and PvE. How is this balanced? Well, it's actually balanced in the way that I already said. You can't get a Dreadnought to spawn every time, and the Dreadnoughts will spawn at certain mark levels, and again, they won't spawn every time. And in PvP, there could actually be a limiter, so if the players are already fighting using Dreadnoughts, then there will be a 0% chance applied directly to that one specific spawn in those situations. So that PvP will disable effectively your Dreadnought spawning. You'll still have support from the rest of the fleet. But that's about it. And they, one more thing, the entirety of the fleet will be completely AI controlled. So you will have no interactions with them. They will do essentially what the AIs do now, rush the target and fight. But that's about it. The concept idea, it was interesting where it came from, but right now I'm still working on it and things like that. Well, now it's no longer being worked on, it's being shared with all of you. And now it's in the phase of it requires feedback to be polished more or less, and then we can pass it over to the development team see what they think. See if it would be worth chalking up on the board and adding to the a list of things that could be added in the future of the game. Things like that. But go ahead and leave your thoughts below in the comment section. What do you think of this idea? Do you have any suggestions? Do you have any negative views of it? Do you actually want to suggest changes to it because some things didn't make sense or some, some things were a little bit too strong or some things were a little bit too weak? The maximum number of ships you'll get from the supporting fleet that'll spawn is only going to be three. But depending on your reputation level, that will indicate what ones it will be. You could have up to Mark six fleets spawning in with you. Things like that. But that's it, everybody. This concept idea is exhausted. This video is ending. And with it, I say, be safe out in the void, everybody. And as always, I will see you in the next video.